Good morning, Marmy. Welcome back to Mom Boss of Three. So in today's video, I'm doing something a little different, like something I haven't done in a long time, almost like a Wellness Wednesday. I am doing an unboxing of my Instant Pot, which I have been calling an Instant Pot for the longest time, but apparently that is incorrect. It is an Instant Pot. I bought this, I think, back in July. Then it was in all kinds of moving chaos, and I moved it to my new house, and I didn't open it. So today, we are going to unbox it. I'm going to try to learn how to use it. And then I'm gonna make a really simple Instant Pot recipe, a vegetarian quinoa taco bowl. So it's really simple, but I'm doing it in a way to actually just test out using this Instant Pot. So when I ordered this, I think it was Amazon Prime Days, it was on sale and I ordered one for my mom and one for one of my friends, Shanta, and they've opened theirs and have told me that they don't like them. So I know that the people who use Instant Pots feel like it's the, like the best kitchen utensil in the world. And so today I'm out to unbox it, try it out and see if I can figure out the settings. Cause there is learning involved in the Instant Pot. It's not like my old school pressure cooker, which I can use like a G, right? Like I know how to use the old school pressure cooker, but this is something totally new. So the version that I bought is the Instant Pot Ultra Electric pressure cooker. It's six quart in size and it's 10 in one. So it's got all different kinds of functions. I'm sure I'll use none of them, but like one or two, but let's open it up and see what it's like. Instant Pot. I think the name Instapot is better, isn't it? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. What's better, Instant Pot or Instapot? Okay, so here it is. It's a 10 in one. If you look down the side here, you'll see like all these different settings. I ended up getting this one because it has the yogurt setting. Like, I don't know if I'm gonna make yogurt in this. There's also a sterilized function. So this is actually great for kids who have, um, or moms who have like babies and baby bottles and stuff to sterilize. So this is a great tool for that. Okay, and I'm just now seeing that there is an Instant Pot free recipe app. Okay, these guys are advanced. I'm gonna have to download this. So in terms of price point, I feel like this was about $100. Um, I don't even remember now, but. People told me it was good, so I bought it. Okay, so accessories, so it includes a, a soup spoon, a rice ladle, a measuring cup, condensation collector, a manual, a recipe book, and quick reference guide and steam rack. Okay, so we've got the power cord here. So one of the things that I've heard about the Instant Pot is that like pressure release options are different. So this is the sealed position. This is the venting position. Sealed. Venting, which seems like it should be the opposite, but that's what it says. And everyone who owns an Instant Pot might be watching me right now be like, she's completely wrong. I hope I'm not completely wrong. All right, so it looks like then you, you can slide to open and close it, lift off the top, and then we've got all these accessories inside. So like the measuring cup, the rice spoon, we've got this steam tray. 100 warnings, a bunch of accessories. We've got the inner lining. The inner lining actually has like a marking on there that shows like this is a two third max capacity um, and this is a half capacity. So it's got some markings on there so you can, you know, keep track of how much you're putting in there. I'm not gonna use any of the accessories or anything for now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wash the inner liner and the lid and see if we can just figure out the settings for the recipe that I'm gonna try out today. I will link in the description of this video also in case you wanna try it out. I mean, if it turns out good, we'll see. Um, so it is Instant Pot Quinoa Taco Bowl. It's got quinoa, salsa, lime juice, garlic powder, oregano, cumin, chili powder, which I'm not gonna put in because I want my kids to eat this. Um, I mean, chili powder is not really that spicy, but my kids think everything is spicy. There's also gonna be, you know, salt, pepper, black beans, and corn. So I'm gonna get all the ingredients in the pot and let's see if we can figure out how to use, um, how to use this thing. All right, so the recipe calls for one cup of quinoa that's rinsed, so I've done that. Let's stick this in the pot. Look at that balance and precision, guys. Okay, water. One cup of salsa in there. Two tablespoons of fresh lime juice. I'm not using fresh lime juice. I bought like lime juice. I'm gonna use that. One teaspoon of garlic powder, a teaspoon of oregano, and a teaspoon of cumin. I'm using um, actual cumin seeds and not powder. This is what I have and I'm not really worried about it. The kids are used to eating this. We put it in a lot of Indian cooking, so we're not worried. We're gonna do a teaspoon of salt. This thing here, my friends, is called, we call it a loon dani. It's like what we keep all our spices in. Like every every brown mom has one of these. When it falls on the floor, it's like so inconvenient. It's everything spills everywhere. It's happened to me before, that's how I know. It also calls for a quarter teaspoon of pepper, but I'm not gonna put that in. My kids don't like pepper. And then we're gonna add in the black beans, which are drained and rinsed. I've got those. The last thing is the corn. 
So that's what this looks like. I think from here, all we do is seal it up and follow these instructions. So I put on the lid and the instructions say to put the vent to this sealing position. So if you press it down, it's a venting position. If it's up, then it's a sealed position. Okay, okay, so pressure cook. And then, okay, so we press the button in that sets it at pressure cook. Then it, we set the time. So we pick one minute. Okay, so now we just start it, I think. Okay, it's on. It's preheating. Okay, so it's one minute pressure cook. When it's done, we have to let this sit for 15 minutes. So let's hope this works out. Okay, so it took a long time to preheat, but now it's done and the instru now it's on the keep warm setting. The instructions say to turn off the pot um, and let it sit undisturbed for 15 minutes for this recipe. So we're gonna hit cancel, turn it off, and I'm just gonna unplug it just to be sure. So I've unplugged it. Hey Google, set a timer for 15 minutes. Sure, 15 minutes, and we're starting now. Okay, so I actually moved it onto my stove because the steam coming out was like hitting the top of the cabinet, so I should have thought of that before. So 15 minutes, we're gonna let it sit, and then I have to vent the remaining steam um, by opening like sort of the steam, the steam thing at the back. So, we're on track. All right, 15 minutes is up, so I'm going to, we're gonna press this to vent. Oh, yes, that's very fast. Okay, so be careful when you do this. So this is remaining steam. Uh, I probably should have worn a glove when I do that. That's a good tip because the steam does come out really quickly. So note to self, I saved myself. Okay, just open up the lid and oh my goodness, this smells amazing. You were just supposed to fluff it with a fork and serve it with garnish. So let's see how it turned out. So this is it. I topped it with a little bit of cheese and sour cream. You could also add jalapenos or anything else you want, but I'm very excited to eat this. Actually, I'm recording this video really early, and so this is my breakfast. All right, guys, moment of truth. Let's try it. It's really good. I don't want to toot my own horn, but it's really good. And it was a super simple recipe. And I will say, as hard it is, as it is sometimes to figure out like some of the instructions um, for how to set to actually program the Instant Pot. This meal is really good. My kids are gonna love it. And it took very little effort. Instant Pot kind of lies about its cook time because it takes a long time to preheat, but I think that's the same thing with pressure cookers, right? They have to get to a certain pressure. When the pressure builds, that's when they start, um, that's when you start the timer. So it took a little bit longer to cook, like the one minute was kind of deceiving. Um, but overall, this meal didn't take more than like 15 minutes to make, and then it rested for 15 minutes. and. Um, like from start to finish, from prep to everything. Like it's just rinsing out some beans and stuff. So here's my review of the Instant Pot as a beginner. Opening it up and trying to use it can be a little bit intimidating. I would suggest, you, you could read through the manual, and I will because I wanna know what else I can do with it. Like obviously I invested $100 in it, I wanna use it. But you could also do something like go to Pinterest like I did, get a recipe, it kind of gives you step-by-step -step instructions on how to make that specific recipe just so you can have some success with it at first. I know both um, my friend Shanta and my mom's, like the first recipes they made, didn't work out is because they didn't have the settings right or whatever. But if you go straight to a recipe and make something different, like I feel very successful with this right now. I'm like, I will use this again. So that's my review. So I'm glad I opened it. I'm gonna see what other recipes I can pull together. I wanna focus on meal planning a bit more for this winter season. Like I feel like I've been really slacking in that area. And I hope that this will be a tool that'll help me do that. If you wanna see me do more Instant Pot recipes, let me know in the comments down below. If you have an Instant Pot and you have a great recipe, let me know down below. I would love to try it out. If you got tips and tricks for an Instant Pot, let me know. I'm a beginner. I would love to learn from you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more videos, and follow me on my daily vlogs. March on, Marmy. You guys should make yourself some quinoa taco bowls. So good.